Hello everybody and welcome back to FIFA 23 with the Fulham save where it's been, well it was a disaster wasn't it in the first match play episode. 4-0 um, away at Arsenal and then 5-0 away at Southampton and because I said it was a disaster obviously we lost both those games but in between we have now won a game and we beat Middlesbrough uh, on penalties 1-1 it was lovely we absolutely loved it it was yeah, great. We actually played a lot better, and I'm getting used to how I want the team to play, and I've set up some individual player instructions as well, which has helped, and we rested lots of players. So as you can see, most people are now looking pretty pretty good and healthy and fit for this one, ready and raring to go. Uh, it was good. Ma Martial scored our goal, and then, aha, Daniel James, continuous development, ready to switch positions and be tried as a right winger, which is good, because we're now right wingers. So the development plan... Go in here, uh, change position. We will make him a wide, a wide right winger. Lovely stuff. Right there we go. Dan James is now able to play in that right wing spot in uh, just the way we want him to. Right, let's get into the game. We're playing Wolves, who have one point. We still have zero. With zero goals in the league, one goal in the uh, in the Carabao Cup though, which is lovely. And our winning penalty was scored by Cock, our youngster, which is brilliant. Here we are then at Craven Cottage for the first home Premier League game for Marco Silva as Fulham manager. And they're taking on Wolves, who find themselves only just above Fulham in the table with one point this season so far. Ruben Neves leading the team out. Rio Patricio going to be starting in goal for the away team. Uh, Fulham only make one change from their last Premier League fixture, and that is Dan James coming on the right-hand side. Although Dan James, I think, started the last Premier League game, so my commentary notes are completely wrong. Uh, the one change is actually Adarabayo starting at centre-back over Denier. Dropped for this one. Rest fatigue is the issue given by Marco Silva, and uh, it should be a very interesting game. Sander Berge back in midfield, rested for the game in the Carabao Cup against Middlesbrough, where Fulham picked up their first win on penalties of the season. But this should be a good game in front of a raucous Craven Cottage attendance. Full sellout here. It's 4-3-3 for Fulham as Mbabu, Adribo, Diop and Kurzawa sit in front of Leno. Berge, Perea and Palinia in front of them. Daniel James on the right, Mitrovic up front and Anthony Martial coming in off that left and side. On the bench is Ludwig Koch again, who scored the winning penalty in the penalty shootout against Middlesbrough. Wolves line up in a 4-3-3 as well. Jose Sar, Samedo, Valiant, Kilman and Ait Nori at the back. Moreno, Neves and Nunes line up in midfield with Traore starting on right wing, Guedes through the middle and Pedro Neto on the left hand side. On the bench for them, uh, Moutinho and Diego Costa are probably the biggest names. Podence could come on and be a danger for the Fulham defence as well. Fulham hoping to pick up at least a point in front of their home crowd. Bert Leno hoping to keep a clean sheet for the first time as a Fulham goalkeeper. But for now, they just know a good performance should be enough to pick up at least a point. So the game gets underway with Alexandra Mitrovic kicking off for the home team in their standard white strip here. And uh, yeah, Marco Silva hoping that the Fulham team can put in a much better performance than what we've seen previously. It looks like Wolves may be playing with uh, Adama Traore playing up front as uh, Sander Burge picks up the loose ball there. Puts it in. So this is a really good start here for Fulham as Dan James gets on the loose ball. And Babu into a bit of space. Tries to put a cross in, but it's blocked. And Andreas Perea, I'm not too sure what that was he attempted there. But now we know this is where Fulham have been uh, caught out quite a lot defensively. Just when players are running towards them, as that's a lovely ball through, slipped into the gap, and Babu covers it well. He's not going to mess around with this one. Clears it away up towards Mitrovic, who wins the header, but falls only to Ruben Nevers. And Neto's in plenty of space, and that is 1-0 Wolves. And it's just that the defensive point is where Fulham fall away, and their marking at the back is terrible, which is really irritating, because we have up the marking to 100 uh, that is one of the sliders we use, but it is 1-0 Wolves. And, uh, yeah, that is exactly what they want. Andreas Pereira picks out Martial on the left-hand side. He goes back to Kurzawa. Infield to Palinia. Berge up towards Alexandra Mitrovic, who's just robbed. And he's, his first touch is pretty poor, Mitrovic there. And uh, Adama Traore looks to come away, but Diop reads that one well. And Babu into... Burge signed from Sheffield United and uh, looking to make a bit of an impact here. Andreas Perea out towards Dan James. Dinks that one in towards Mitrovic. Headed down and there's an effort from Perea. It's a lovely move from Fulham and a wonderful save from Jose Sarr with his feet. 
And that is what Fulham can do when they use Mitrovic properly. It was a really good move there from Fulham, from defence to midfield to attack. And uh, they did that well. Kozawa covers off that, that run down the wing. 25 minutes gone in this one. And that was a great opportunity for Fulham to score their first goal. And the Craven Cottage crowd are up for this one, making a right noise. Here's Burge and Babu. Dan James. Now it goes on to Mitrovic. Runners in front. One of them's Dan James, but he's not strong enough to hold on to the ball. And the Wolves look to come again. Up towards Guedes. Goncalo Guedes. And Troy looked offside there. He's not. He's onside and he's kept the ball alive really well. Nathan, Nelson Semedo into the box. On his weaker left foot at the moment. Ball through. That should be Leno's and is. As uh, it drifts through to the Fulham goalkeeper. Ten minutes to go until half time. That is a terrible pass from Kazawa And Diop gets him out of a bit of trouble there. Leno, uh, well, 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 where are my options? This is a high press from Wolves. We've not really come across someone that's high pressed like that yet. And again, it's a terrible pass out from the back. And Adrabio has been nutmeg. Diop gets his body in the way. And we can pick up the loose ball. Andreas Perea, Mitrovic, Martial into Perea again. Andreas Perea puts it out wide to Dan James. He's got the overlapping run from Mbabu. And this is better football from Fulham. Ball in. It's Mitrovic. Heavy touch, cuts it back. And Babu, the right back. It's a terrible shot. And Saar catches it. And it's half time. Fulham end on a high for that first half. They have created chances. It's been better. But they still find themselves 1 0 down at half time. So into the second half then. Guedes gets it underway for Wolves, who have that very narrow 1 0 lead. And who have Zose Saar to thank for uh, a good save at the end from Mbabu. The right back finding himself in a very advanced position because now tackled very well by Semedo there. But uh, yeah, the right back found himself high up the pitch and uh, couldn't take his chances as Ruben Neves looks to get into a bit of space because Auer tries to stand him up. Semedo shoots and Leno with an acrobatic save when it looked like he could have just caught that. It was right at him and Podence, who we did flag as earlier, could come on and cause a bit of trouble. Comes on to replace Pedro Neto. Here is Moreno. Just gives a bit of a twist and turn. But Pelinia can put in a good tackle. It'll be another corner to Wolverhampton Wanderers. And this one again goes short into Moreno. This time he sends Paulina the other way. It's a cut back. It's a shot straight at Leno. Good save. Goalkeeper stood tall and stood strong. And uh, did well to pick that one out. As Kazawa has it now in towards Paulina. Polina goes on one more as it looks like Brenton and Bournemouth have a goal. Bournemouth score and uh, make that one 1-1 one, one and uh, Bournemouth will need that. They're sitting at the bottom of the table at the moment. Mitrovic puts a lovely ball through to the right-hand side. It's Dan James. We know he's got the pace. Tries to cut it across. Oh, and it's passed back to Jose Saar. Great composure at the back there. Sander Burge with a lovely header as you're expecting to win the tall central midfielder. Martial picks up the ball. What can he do with it? I haven't seen too much of him from this... Left-hand side being able to cut in. Perea into Sander Berge. Berge again. Fulham happy to play a bit more of a patient game as they pick out Anthony Martial. Martial tries to bend one. Oh, and he's put it top corner. Anthony Martial with an absolutely superb strike to open his account for Fulham. And just as we said, we haven't seen much of him on that left-hand side. Martial scores an absolute blinder for Fulham there. What a goal from the Frenchman. Paying off his transfer fee already. As we see it here, Anthony Martial, number 10 for Fulham, 25 metres out, lovely bending shot into the corner, nothing Jose Sarr could do there, and that is the talent of Anthony Martial, what a goal, and uh, well, Bruno Large is not happy with that one, whereas Marco Silva will be delighted. And Fulham score their first goal of the Premier League season, and it makes it 1-1 here at Craven Cottage, and the fans will be delighted that Anthony Martial has opened his account. The uh, new Fulham number 10. Mateus Nunes tries to feed this one through to the ball. And Diop with a good interception there. Sander Berge. Up it goes into Polina. Martial, the goal scorer. Gives it back to him. Polina just waiting and looking for options. And Andreas Perea. Sander Berge gets the ball back. Fulham playing much more in a rhythm that they like to enjoy now. As Polina picks it up again. Mitrovic calls for it. Polina ignores him. Lays it off to Berge. Gives it in. It's Martial again. Martial. Oh, this one's over the bar. Great effort. So substitution for Wolves as Moreno uh, comes off. He is going to be replaced by João Moutinho. 
And uh, a triple substitution for Fulham as well. Not sure if we'll see all these three come on at the same time. We will. Palinia, Mitrovic and Kazawa come off. It's Ludwig Koch, the youngster. Anthony Robinson, the left back. And Garnacho, the signing from Man United, coming on for Fulham. Hoping it's a very more attacking substitutions than defensive from Marco Silva. So are Fulham going to take the game to Wolves here as Diop wins that header really well? And Anthony Martial now in a more central position as the striker. Uh, as Mitrovic comes off. We know that's a, an option that Marco Silva always said he would have by signing Anthony Martial as Diop wins the ball very well. Plays it up. Great tackle from Ruben Neves to get a foot in there and make a difference as Podence comes forward. Out it goes to eight Nori on the left-hand side. Mbabu struggling a little bit with fitness after playing in the League Cup as well. But Dan James is there to pick up the ball. Andreas Perea. Garnacho. How it goes to Cock in towards Martial. He can just lay it back to Diop as we enter the final few minutes of this one. It's in Babu. He's got an overlapping run, but he looked like he was caught late there, and it's not. And Podence is going to bring this one away. Ain't Nori on the right-hand side, and Babu dives in and doesn't win the ball, but does hold up uh, Ain't Nori just a little bit. It's a ball through, though. Mateus Nunes is robbed by Diop really well, and uh, Diop's just going to get this one away. And that is full time, and Fulham pick up their first point of the season. 1-1 against Wolves. I'm uh, I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. I'm quite happy with that. A great goal from Martial. We played good football, much, much better. And, uh, yeah, really happy. So it didn't look good at half-time. You were behind and looked second best. How pleased with the way the team responded, get it back into the game. Um, it was a game we probably should have won, but I'm pleased that we got the draw. As I said, I was happy. So I'm not, I'm not going to be too pissed off with that. Uh, kind of close fought contest everybody was expecting. What do you make of the result? Uh, two, very, two very committed teams, yeah. Uh, Wolves did well as the away team. A defeat and a draw, you just can't seem to get the better of them. How do you improve? Um, we'll stick together. I promise you that. We're not going to give up. So 1-1, it was Pedro Neto with the goal. And, uh, and a, a fantastic equalise by Anthony Martial. But uh, yeah, look, you can see there. Players getting very tired. We do need to go and bring in some more training, uh, some more players, sorry. So I think we're going to have a look at some transfers and see where we get. Okay, so I've gone through all the players that the scouts have found and, and had a look at. And these are the players I've shortlisted. So Ben Johnson, a potential right back from West Ham, could really strengthen us over there. We've only got Mbabu at the moment, who is a right back option. He looks pretty useful. 22, can play both sides as well. Lots of potential to grow. So I do like the look of Ben Johnson. Uh, Liveramento, 19 from Southampton. Again, lots of good options. Can play right back, right wing back. Only 19 years old. I do really like Liveramento in real life. I think he's going to be a really good player. So he's one that we could keep an eye on. Into midfield, uh, Morgan Sanson from Aston Villa. A little bit uh, injury prone, but not a bad player, to be honest. Right-footed French midfielder, 28. Not in favour at Aston Villa in real life. So I sort of feel like we could... Definitely bring him in to make uh, to make up some numbers. J James Ward Prowse, obviously an amazing player, really really good at set pieces and brings a lot to the team. It's just I don't think we're going to be able to afford him this year from Southampton, so we'll keep him on the list. Uh, Stindl is thirty four, so more experienced, but a very good player from Borussia Mönchengladbach and someone we could potentially bring in for a season or two just to uh, to have that option in central midfield and, and give some competition to Andreas Perea. Into the strikers then, uh, Marlon, we've already spoken about from Borussia Dortmund. Left midfield, left wing striker, uh, Dutch, young, potential growth, really quick, good at finishing. Really would be a good player to bring in if we hadn't already got Martial. Uh, Patson Dacker, far striker from Leicester. We all know all about him, so I don't think we need to go into too much detail. Would be very useful to have in the team, but we're not really in the market for a striker. And Yusuf, Yusufa Makoku, the uh, absolute wonder kid from Borussia Dortmund. Hoping he, in real life, probably hoping he'll thrive a bit now that Erling Haaland's left. But um, again, not really in the market for a striker. So I think we're looking at potentially Sanson and Liveramento, I think, are the two I'd really like to bring in. So I guess let's go for Sanson first. I feel like we need a midfielder more... Well, actually, we need, we need both. We need both of them. Let's go for Sanson first. So we're going to offer a transfer fee off the bat. We're going to go straight in with just a 5 million bid for him. It's a bit low. But I'm hoping Steven Gerrard says, like, yeah, of course, that's fine. Um, to let Sanson go, 4.45 and Deckard over Reed. Ooh. Let's, I don't mind giving away Deckard over Reed. Let's go transfer fee and let's go, 
So he's worth 3 million. So that would be 6.6. .6. So let's get this down a bit. Let's go... I think 2.5. 2.5 and Deckard over Reed would be 4.1. What am I on about? It'd be 5.1 million. No, it wouldn't. It would be 6.1 million. I think I could do that. I think I'd be happy with that. Since we rate our player highly, we want to let him go. 2.85 million to the deal and a sell-on clause of 5%. <sighs> Propose a new transfer fee. 2.55. 2 and, the, and the sell-on fee. How about that? Okay, they're happy with that. Let's go and talk to Sanson then and see if we can bring him in, which would be a good a good option in central midfield. I think it would help us to bring him in. So Sanson, he wants to be a squad, I think. Um, will he be Will he be important? Let's go rotation for now. Uh, he's looking to play. Um, okay, let's go important first team player then. We'll see how it goes. Try and keep him happy. So now we're going the roll. Talk about the length of contract. Um, he's 28, so let's give him till he's 31. A three-year contract. Good, he's happy with that. Don't want a release clause. Excellent. So wages. He's currently on 59,000. Um, let's see if we can get him down a little bit. 43. Signing bonus of uh, 300. I'm pretty sure they're not going to enjoy that. And then let's add a bonus in. We'll say goals. 15 goals. And you can have... A million because you're probably not going to score 15 goals in a season let's try that as an offer uh, and see what they say reasonable yeah they're happy with that okay that's good i don't mind paying that i think that's a good offer and here he is morgan sanson in at the club lovely stuff more new signings coming through the door at fulham but we do need to increase our player numbers otherwise we will be struggling in uh, in all competitions and when we get into the big big Christmas pile up. So Deckard over Reed, who wasn't getting much game game time for us, uh, and we bring in Morgan Sanson for a C rating, a good price, not too bad, 76 rated. Really don't mind that at all. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. We get rid of Deckard over Reed, uh, get him off the wage bill, bring in Sanson. I'm happy. I'm happy. The next one we're looking at was Liveramento. So let's go have a look at 10 million market value. Ben Johnson, 8 million market value, 34 grand a week. And he's on he's on 19 grand a week. He's on a lot less. Okay, let's see if we can splash some cash and see if we can go and get Liveramento. I'm not sure if we're going to have the budget for it. We've got 9.67 left. Um, couldn't we offer them someone? Is there anyone they would want? I'm not really happy to give any of those away. Wingers, let's chuck in Willian and then go offer a transfer fee. So 3.6 million. Let's go with... 6 million cash and William, which takes it to 9.6. So just below, just below his market value. Uh, we can do business transfer. We will consider the Venetia should be included in the deal. <sighs> That's our only backup striker. It's our only backup striker. 6 million plus Venetia takes it to, well, 13 and a half million. So let's go new transfer fee. Take that down to four and a half. Let's go for that. I don't really want to get rid of Venetius, but I think having Liveramento in the team is better than having Venetius. And then let's edit the sell on and say five. Let's try that. I'm not. They're happy with that as well. So I do think getting Liveramento in as a right back is better than having Venetius. We can go and buy another striker, I feel. It could give us an option to go and get Donny Marlin, actually. We'll look on loan. Uh, Roll at the club, I think, yeah, he'll be. Him and Mbappé will be changing every game. So, uh, length of contract. Let's tie him down for a big contract because he's really young. Five-year contract. Excellent. Don't want a release clause. They want 17000 a week, 160 grand, and then after 10 appearances, 170. So, let's counter that. Get the bonus. After 20 games, you can get 130. I think that's all right. I don't mind the weight. The wages of seventeen thousand is fine. Seven thousand, I think that's fine. And I think there's only after five appearances. They, they're not very good at negotiating, are they? They're really not very good at negotiating this. So we'll go twenty, one hundred and seventy thousand. There we go. They're happy with that. Livramento is in as well. So two signings. I'm very happy with squad depth in Sanson, and uh, 
competition for places at right back with Liveramento and Venetius goes. So now we're in the market for a striker, and that's always good fun. And I've got I've got a couple of people in mind. I think Donny Marlon's going to be too expensive. Um, I mean, there'll be comments saying, I can't believe you haven't signed Luka Zahovic. Well, not yet. I haven't signed him yet. That's not the plan. But for now, let's go and play the second game of the episode. We've got more players joining. We'll be back for the next game. No, we won't, because it's deadline day. And deadline day is always fun. So it's deadline day. Wolves, a draw against Wolves and deadline day. And now we've got more people to potentially bring in. So I'm going to go and see who's out there. Let's go and see what business we can get done. Okay, so with Vinicius Lu uh, moving on, we are going to make a bid for Yusuf Makoko. Uh, it fits within our transfer fee we've got available. I'm going to try and really lowball them here. We're going to go straight in 2 million. He's not highly rated, only 70 overall, but 17 years old. We know in real life he's got huge potential. Uh, would we want to get rid of Willian in exchange? We can settle for this deal without money. Yes, we would. You take Willian, we'll take Yusuf Makoko. Absolutely incredible stuff. Thank you very much. We are more than happy with that negotiation. Um, yeah, lovely stuff. William was on the transfer list, so very happy with that. Sporadic as well role, so he's going to play back up to uh, to Mitrovic, which is which is lovely. Five year deal. Yep, obviously he's he's such a youngster. That's fine. Uh, yep, accept. Don't want a release clause. Happy with that. And let's talk about salary. So he's on four grand a week. So let's match that. Um, signing bonus. We'll give you a couple of grand for signing with us. Let's just see what they say to that. Matching his salary. They want 4.2, a little signing bonus, and five appearances is 20 grand. She's, she plays hardball, his agent. She is playing hardball. Right, edit the bonus. You can have 20 appearances, 20 grand. That's like a grand an appearance. And I'm happy with... That signing bonus and that wage, to be honest. He gets a little pay rise. He's happy with that. Yusuf Makoko joins Fulham. Unbelievable scenes here at Craven Cottage in the training ground. The fans are going to be delighted with that one, I feel. Absolutely thrilled with that as Yusuf Makoko joins. Yeah. We're building a team here. We just need to get better at playing the game. <laughs> So Yusuf Makoko in at Fulham, swapped for Willian. No money changing hands. I feel like we've got a very good deal, although they reckon it's a D. No, I don't think that. I think he's going to be absolutely amazing for us coming through the youth team. For now, we're going to leave it there and just progress through deadline day. So we've had an offer for Mbabu. They're willing to offer Will Hughes and 2.9 million. Um, I'm going to say no to that because Mbabu's not been too bad so we'll just say i mean we had an 11.5 million off from sociedad that i rejected earlier on in the transfer window so reject that one we're coming down to five hours to go on deadline day so it should be interesting to see if there's any more offers we've got tim oh tim ream can go yes norwich have come in with a bid um let's just extract as much money as possible for them so we're going to go for like 700k and see what they say to that i'm more than happy to sell tim ream i just want to get as much money as possible for him i'll take seven hundred thousand. Five thirty. we'll counter that uh new transfer fee 600 i'm gonna keep trying to push still too high okay we'll keep him here that's not a problem at all don't uh, you know we could have got 500 grand for him but i'm happy to uh to keep him at the club as a backup for now so we've got another offer for Palloon. Juventus are offering Angel Di Maria and 5.9 million. I'm going to reject that because, uh, one, I don't really want Di Maria, and two, it's just hilarious. So definitely going to reject that. 34-year-old Angel Di Maria can stay at Juventus. And we get down to the final two hours. Kyle Walker has joined Real Madrid. Pedri has joined Man City. So uh, lots happening in, uh, in the FIFA transfer world. And it's going to close in an hour. And we have an offer for our young goalkeeper, Rodak, for 6.2 million. Benfica. Now, that is one we may let happen. If we can get, like, 8 million. Because it is one hour of deadline day left. So, uh, let's go new transfer fee. 8 million. Advance that. Submit that offer. Yeah, they're happy with 8 million. I'm happy with 8 million. I think that's uh, that's decent enough. Rodak might move 
which now means we might have to go and get another goalkeeper. So having not been able to find a, a goalkeeper that we can bring in at short notice, if Rodak me moves, we're just going to call up a youngster to be our third goalkeeper and call up uh, Watkins or Witkins, whatever his name is, to be our backup goalkeeper. So we will end deadline day there. And uh, lots of ins, a couple of outs. It's been an interesting one this episode. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the transfers. We've got our first point of the season against Wolves. So we are off in terms of the league, which is good. We're not bottom. That is taken by Crystal Palace on zero and Nottingham Forest on zero. But we do have a goal difference of minus nine. Coming up, we're playing Crystal Palace, who are bottom of the league. That'll be in the next episode, uh, which will be interesting. Followed by Tottenham. So... A relatively easier game against Crystal Palace. And then a very difficult game against Tottenham. Who currently sit in 6th. Man United 7th. Who's top? I'm sure. Oh, Arsenal. Arsenal, West Ham, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City, Spurs, Man United, Brighton, Leicester, Newcastle in 10th. Southampton, Villa, Leeds, Wolves, Brentford, Everton, Bournemouth, Fulham, Nottingham Forest. And Crystal Palace is your current league table. Right. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you in a bit. Cheers.